Hi guys, my name is Jade Love and I'm here with another prophetic word. Um, this is my second dream of the day uh, that was given from the Father. I'm actually going to pray over you guys. I pray that y'all also test the spirits to see if this word is for you. Um, and here we go. Dear Father, I want to say thank you so much for being who you are. Thank you so much for loving us in spite of everything that we've ever done and everything that we will ever do, Lord. You are always with us. You say you will never leave us for nor forsake us. I want to say thank you so much for your encouraging words in your word, Lord. Thank you so much for giving me this encouraging word to give to your people in this time of con confusion because you did not give us confusion. You're not the author of confusion. The enemy is. But thank you so much for giving us words of encouragement and also giving us this dream to to let us understand that there will be counterfeits lord i pray that you cover your people and this word is edifying to those who need to hear it lord in these names i pray jesus amen okay i'm going to read the dream to y'all and then i'm going to interpret it for you guys okay it says i was in a building with a lot of people i believe were church people they asked who is the devil i said he is Lucifer, Satan, the devil. I attempted to tell a story about him falling from heaven and people kept interrupting. I, once I finished, I talked about God not giving us the spirit of fear. Once I was done, I walked past in a... I walked past a window and I saw guys staring, staring at me and one guy said, oh, she's sexy and they started laughing in the group. I went out there and confronted them because they are men of God and shouldn't be lusting after their sister. They were all scared, but one, he was looking intrigued because I wasn't in, I wasn't in fear of them. Then I went to the food counter to purchase some cinnamon, Cinnabon from this girl behind the counter and she was talking to someone else. I realized I left my purse at a table and I tried to inform her what I wanted and I will be right back. She said no, not because I recognized her as a girl from high school. She just said no, and then the dream ended. Okay, so the enemy, <laughs> somebody in the dream asked about the devil. And I was like, I'm going to go talk on this. I'm going to go speak on this because guess what? He has no place here. This is what I was thinking in that dream. He has no place here. Why somebody asked me about the devil while I'm asleep, first of all? So let me go over there and correct them and let me tell them about who God is. So I talked about Lucifer. I said who he was and how he fell from heaven and how he's upset that he got cast down even further past the earth. He was, he was just really upset. So I was like, this man is so mad that he's just out here like... Uh, walking around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour and I'm like okay well he has no place here so I give a whole word and people kept interjecting and it was really making me really upset I was like I don't understand why these people keep interjecting which were probably his people but at the same time I was walking to go back to where my, my purse was at at the table and I walked past this window and it was a group of guys they were all looking at me talking about I was sexy and I'm like hold on like, we're not supposed to lust, lust after one another. We're at a church conference, and you're lusting after me, and I'm a woman of God. Just like you're my brother in Christ, I'm your sister. So you're not supposed to do that. So I go out there, and I confront them, and I'm like, you're not supposed to be doing this. And there was one guy in a midst of them who was looking like he was intrigued after I had confronted everybody else because he, he looked like he was not involved in it, like they were just talking to him. Well, this is the season of getting everything that God has promised us y'all so God if, if you're searching for marriage if you're seeking for marriage I know I've been praying a lot about um everything that God has promised us God has given us so many promises it's, he's given us 7,487 promises Satan has nine promises we not worry about Satan um he has no place here but God's 7,487 promises and I know one of them for myself because he knows the desires of my heart is for marriage so I've seen this group of guys um, acting chaotic and I checked them like I checked them with the word because they're not supposed to lust after us because um, we're a body of Christ we're all siblings here so after I confronted them and that one guy that was intrigued I assumed in the dream that that guy might have been somebody that uh, want to pursue me just as there's a pool of guys out there that's going to want to pursue us in this season as well as women want to pursue men in this season because um, God has ordained marriages, kingdom marriages that are going to come to pass, guys. So the enemy understands this. So in this dream, what I interpreted was the group of guys and a co confronting them. So there's going to be 
so many distractions. I know for myself, I had two different um, distractions from the enemy that has tried to try me in the last two weeks because that's the area where I really couldn't get out of when I was in the world and the enemy knows what it is that um, distracts me. So for myself, I have been see receiving numerous tests from God. God has given me these tests. So I received numerous tests from him to see how I would react to certain situations. But even in that dream, how I reacted was just an uh, enactment of how we should conduct ourselves as women in the body of Christ, but also how men should conduct themselves as well because they're not supposed to be lusting after us. It's a sin. Um, so ladies, be cognizant and be vigilant and sober-minded when it comes to um, whoever is coming around, use your discernment as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people coming to uh, interact with you or try to pursue you, but you have to test the spirits. Use your discernment. Don't fall prey or victim to the counterfeit because during this season, there will always be good and evil. There will always be the real thing and the counterfeit. And you probably can't discern the two, but I pray that the test that God is sending towards your way, that it makes you understand how to distinguish between the two easier um i know for myself i have and i'm so thankful like god is so good like i'm not doing this none of this is on my own the holy spirit is leading me and guiding me to where it is that he wants me to be and i promise y'all it can get hard but god shows us the way he would tell us what it is that we need to do if we just hone into him if we just lean on to him if we just pray without ceasing um so I just want to share this word with you guys today. Y'all y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay vigilant and sober-minded. And may the Lord be with y'all. God bless you. Bye-bye.